Now with reaction, author, attorney, David Limbaugh, Fox News political analyst, Juan Williams. You know, David, look, there is some editing that goes on in television, but when you purposely edit to alter the context, to give people a false conclusion, is that libel? Well, I, it could be. I don't know about that. I want to be careful about that. But there's other examples. This is just the latest example. John Nolte at Breitbart uh, cited a bunch of different examples with Andrea Mitchell and, and Ed Schultz uh, trying to make uh, Rick Perry look racist. And I, I want to point out, look, look at the way the media intervened in the debates. The media no longer, the mainstream liberal media no longer reports the news. They try to influence the news. And what happened here is a microcosm of what happens every day where they try to set up an alternative reality to make it look like the things that are terrible in society under Barack Obama, the 8 to 10 percent unemployment, they try to paint that as normal. The fact that we've had the worst recovery in 50 years, they paint that as normal. Look at the economic report today. They downplay that. Uh, they downplay uh, the plight of African Americans. Uh, they they uh, always paint a rosy picture of what's going on. And if it were not for that, Obama would not have won the election. He would not have a 60 percent approval rating. He would not be depicted by the media as a person who wants to get along and compromise, but as a person who is divisive and says it's my way or the highway, who has a totalitarian approach, who is a socialist. They cover up for oh. him because they agree with his agenda and they want to influence the agenda. The end justifies the means and we're All suffering right. for let, it let today. Me, well, I don't know why Juan's laughing. Juan, wait a minute here. Wait, 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 wait a second. So over the top. If I mean, you, David, Juan, David, you just, you just hate not Obama. You say you can't stand this, you can't stand that. Well, let's no, get back to what Sean was talking about. Because Sean him. had an, an important point, which was NBC, especially in that George Zimmerman case, clearly, I thought, acted irresponsible. You can't edit a piece of tape like that to say that the guy is interjecting race when in fact he was asked about it. In the first instance though, the man who was testifying, the man who was the father of that tragically dead child in Newtown, I thought he was using a rhetorical device. I didn't think he was actually asking people to well, respond. Wait, Juan, I thought he was second. trying to well, say, well, well, Juan, hey, who but can there, answer this question? There was a delay there. This is the point. They, they took yeah. out the delay. I thought it was a rhetorical question, and obviously everybody there thought it was rhetorical. Nobody Correct. answered. And then he goes, well, obviously nobody can answer my question. And so then it appeared to me and to the audience, obviously, that he wanted an answer. But the way well, no. NBC did it by taking out... The, the, that period of time when nobody interrupted, everyone was being and, attentive, they purposely wanted people to draw a different conclusion. That is and, media uh, bias. It, I don't think it's, it's a gratuitous. big deal. I mean, I understand your point. I think oh, if they collapse that no. time period, that, that could lead to, but I, you know what? I took it that I understood. In fact, the guy was quite respectful. If I was in your shoes, Sean, I would say, why they cut off the end where he says, I understand other he was very, but so view, was the audience there. That audience was respectful. Well. They did not right. heckle him, and they sat there they quietly when he asked that rhetorical question. And then when he said, oh, nobody here can respond, then they gave an answer because he asked for one. Just like they want to uh, portray the Tea Party as racist and cut black people out of the image, uh, and, and, and they create manufactured stories, they want to, to look, make gun owners look racist, mean-spirited, and violent and unruly. And the opposite is true. Uh, gun owners and supporters of the Second Amendment merely want to exercise their constitutional right to protect themselves against hostile intruders and bad guys and against a potentially tyrannical government. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that except uh, according to the worldview of these crazy professors in liberal land who want to dis, uh, dispense with the Constitution. This, uh, this is David, midstream, uh, mainstream right. America, Juan. David, let me, let me agree with you. I think gun owners, because I've seen poll numbers on this, and, it, and it's pretty consistent across different polls, gun owners, for example, say, yes, let's have effective law enforcement, let's have effective background checks. The problem comes when you get someone like Wayne LaPierre, the head of the National Rifle Association, they testify in Congress. Right, no, I, I don't, we've already I don't debated want background this. Juan, checks. Go back. I don't want smaller magazines. Don't get I don't think anybody Juan, agrees with that. Juan, don't, don't, don't go backwards background here. Background Wait a minute. This is a problem because NBC News is an extension of an agenda, and that agenda is the White House agenda. And it's never been more blatant, and more transparent, more on display than what we saw both in the Zimmerman case, the Andrea what? Mitchell case, and in this case. Because huh. the, the, the people in that audience were respectful to this man, as they should be.
and they made it out that he was not. That's disgraceful. Well, I think that if people, Juan, you, if, if people oh, distort the editorial content, that is disgraceful. I'm saying I'm not so sure as you are about this man testifying and whether people testify. Look but at when it. I look at but when I look at what happened today in Congress, when I look at Gabby Gifford saying to these congressmen, be courageous, be bold, All right, David take Lesworth. action. David? The, 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 we're, we're off the subject here. Do you think there's any chance that Barack, Barack Obama could have won this election were it not for the deliberate distortion and the alternate reality that the media is no. creating for him? Covering up for his terrible economy, having people in an exit poll actually blaming Bush in the twilight zone for this economy that's gone on four years that is now getting worse because he's smothering the private sector. David, his stimulus David, doesn't you know, work. They cover David. up his entitlement. Uh, d David, yes. the election's over. You're not holding a grudge, are you, David? No, no. Oh, come on. He's still and campaigning, and you are. I don't care how much NBC does. The American right. people are smart enough to see the realities of these two candidates for themselves. Yeah, by the way, not great economy. Not through the propaganda. Great. Not, we, we not through run. the propaganda. Uh, good to see you both. Juan, by the way, Take great news on the economy today. One more quarter no, and we're back good. in a recession, right? Well, no, oh. we're not in a recession, but it was bad news. Well, it may be a recession, and we will see. And I hope not. Right. But I'll tell you this, the country's going to come calling for conservatives right now because his policies aren't working. And we're going to get to that as the program unfolds. Thanks for being with us.